and howdy everybody that I wanted to talk about this. If you go back to our series, Time's Almost Up, and our series, The Republic, as well as the series, The Seven-Headed Beast, and look at all those. I make the assertion that the New World Order One Antichrist is a deception. That we're told in Daniel that the statue has ten toes. We're told in Revelation 13 that the political beast has ten horns with ten crowns. We're told in Revelation 17 and 18 that those ten horns are ten leaders who do not yet have a kingdom that will have a kingdom that will rule with the beast for a short time. Now, my contention is, if you go back and watch those, that the new world order, the one world government, is going to be knocked down, shattered, right? And who runs that? It's run from the country where Jerusalem is located, right? If you go back through the Old Testament prophets, Jerusalem is the whore. We're told in Revelation, Jerusalem is the whore. So what happens? We dry up the river Euphrates. Marduk, the god of nation, can now cross that water boundary, right? Patriotism. So let's take a look at this video. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mute it and just read you what Georgia Maloney, the new Italian prime minister, go back and look at the seven-headed beast, in the inclusion of Italy in that, right? Georgia Maloney, this is her speaking about what's been happening there. Okay. So let me take a look here. That'll work. Okay. Now pay attention. Listen to what she's saying. Okay, I'll read it. Please answer me these questions. This is about what we are doing here today. Why is the family an enemy? Why is the family so frightening? There is a single answer to all these questions because it defines us, because it defines, it is our identity, because everything that defines us is now an enemy. For those who would like us to no longer have an identity, and to simply be perfect consumer slaves. And so they attack national identity. They attack religious identity. They attack gender identity. They attack family identity. I can't define myself as Italian, Christian, woman, mother. No. I must be citizen X, gender X, parent one, parent two. I must be a number. Because when I am only a number, when I no longer have an identity or roots, then I will be the perfect slave at the mercy of financial speculators, the perfect consumer. That's the reason why. That's why we inspire so much fear. This, that's why this event inspires so much fear. Because we do not want to be numbers, we will defend the value of the human being. Every single human being, because each of us has a unique genetic code that is unrepeatable. And like it or not, that is sacred. We will defend it. We will defend God, country, and family. Those things that disgust people so much, we will do it to defend our freedom. Because we will never be slaves and simple consumers at the mercy of financial speculators. That is our mission. That is why I came here today. Chesterton wrote more than a century ago, 
Fires will be kindled to testify that two and two make four. Swords will be drawn to prove that leaves are green in summer. That time has arrived. We are ready. Thank you. Now, she covered just about everything in that that we hear being said for patriotism to cast off the new world order to cast off the one world government. Now, if people have been programmed for generations to believe that it's going to be a one world government when the Antichrist arrives, one Antichrist, what are they going to tell themselves when they cast off the one world order? Yay, we defeated evil. We are so great. Little G God, capital C country. That's the paradigm. And she covered it there. God and country. And when Peter rebuked, I'm sorry, when Christ, Jesus Yeshua, rebuked Peter and said, Get thee behind me, Satan. What did he tell him? Because thou savorest not the things of God, but the things of men. Right? Human. Human rights. Humanity. So what is everybody going to get? A kingdom of their own. This is our great leader. We are America. We are Italy. We are Japan. And it's going to be huge. Keep your eyes on Italy, Germany, France, the European Union. Keep your eyes on them. Remember, 10 kings, 10 crowns, 10 horns, 10 toes. Pay attention. Okay, everybody, that's it for now. Watch. I love you all.